A lot of you have asked me what it's like to own my right-hand drive Nissan Skyline GTR in a left-hand drive world. So today, I'm going to show you. Problem the first. Sometimes I actually do get in on the wrong side of the car. We're moving the cars, right? Okay. And that isn't the only structural issue with right-hand drive. In a normal car, the turn signal is over here. But in the Skyline, it's over here. That can be very disorienting when you go to make a quick lane change and you look down and, where's the turn signal? Fortunately, I don't have the same problem with my wipers. That's because they're located over here on the gauge cluster and not in a second stock where the turn signal would normally be. Although I do find myself occasionally turning on the wipers in my normal car when I mean to turn on the turn signal. And then there's the shifting. Now, the pedals are the same and the shift pattern is the same, but it's still very disoriented. For the first time in my life, first is up and away from me. It takes a lot of getting used to. Here's another problem, lane positioning. If you live in the United States, a lifetime of driving has taught you to place your driver's seat in the left portion of the lane. When you have the skyline, this is something you'll have to forget very quickly or else it could become dangerous. And until you do, you'll scare the hell out of your passengers. Doug, you are actually so good. No, no way. You are about five feet over the line. Really? And then there are left turns. Now, in a normal car, you just move into the turn lane and you make a left turn. In this thing, you gotta kinda do one of these. And then you inch out. And you in inch out. And then you just kind of got to floor it and hope that nobody's coming. Another problem. What happens when you want to get some nice, scrumptious fast food? Hey, can I get four cookies and a water? Here you go. Thank you very much. In other words, it isn't easy. So a lot of people have recommended I get a little grabber tool that can reach across the car and grab things for me. But I've got a better idea. Hey, can I get a large fries and a cup of water, please? the drive-thru. <laughs> Not everywhere. It's <laughs> a good point. The it's easier. We tried it the other way and you gotta reach across and it's not a good situation. Wait, so is there something wrong with the car or you? Well, I, it's on the right side. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Exactly. Um, wait, can I stand for this thing? Yeah, totally. Thank you. Can you do it? <laughs> Smile. So, are there any benefits to right-hand drive? Just one. Parallel parking. When I go to parallel park, I'm right next to the curb, and that means I can see everything, so I won't damage my precious R34 wheels. And then, when it's time to get out, I just hop right out. And I'm already on the sidewalk. Then I can walk away from my GTR and leave it, only to return to it later when I will probably get in on the wrong side. Doug, 